Now, it's uh, the size of a paperclip, costs £10,000 and could save lives. We're talking about a new medical device which is being trialled at the Royal Bournemouth Hospital to help predict when patients are going to have heart failure. It sends daily information about heart and lung pressure back to doctors and it only takes a 30-minute operation to implant. A health correspondent, David Fenton, has more. I'll put a little tube in the, in the top of the leg and pass a wire through the heart into the lungs. And Evelyn Good has had four serious heart failures. Today she's having a device fitted that could change all that. I'm delighted to be able to proceed with it because I think it'll, it'll lift a load off me from the point of view of waiting, uh, you know, for something to happen. Uh, they'll be able to forecast when it is going to happen and treat me accordingly. Yeah, it's, it's wedge, yeah. The procedure takes about 30 minutes and Evelyn's awake throughout. This is the device that's going into an artery between Evelyn's heart and her lungs. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty small, but it's going to measure pressure changes, which could help warn, if she's at risk, future heart failure. A tube is inserted and the device is on its way. So what we've got now is a very small wire that is down th threaded through the heart into the lungs and the picture on the right here you can, I'm trying to work out where the landing zone for this particular device is and then I'm going to try and anchor it in a particular point using this wire to guide me. When it's switched on it'll connect Evelyn with her doctors and warn them if she's in danger. You can predict that patients are going to get sick before they even get sick and then make medication changes to prevent problems happening that the patient was, wasn't even aware of yet. You can either press the green button which is on the Two button, hours later, the device is checked button. and all is good. It will tell you if you're in a good position. It will sing to you, play a little bit of music while it's measuring. This hospital sees 500 people a year who could benefit from this. Evelyn is not the first to get it and she won't be the last. David Fenton, BBC South Today in Bournemouth.